Dutch company Fruit Leather collects around 1,500 mangoes each week to turn into vegan leather. To make the leather, a machine de-stones the mangoes and then crushes the fruit into a pulp. Next, the pulp is mixed with several additives that turn the mango pulp into a leather-like material. The mixture is poured onto metal baking trays and smoothed out to create an even thickness. Then, the trays go into a dehydrator overnight. Next, the sheets go to a leather finishing facility to be coated in protective glaze. The facility uses the same process as it would with animal hide leather. Workers measure the thickness of each sheet, then mix resins to make the coating, which forms a little film on top of the sheet to protect it from the elements. A machine presses a thin layer of protective coating onto the leather when the sheets pass through. The sheets are rolled into an oven to dry the coating, then hung on racks to cool and dry completely. Each one undergoes this process multiple times to make it more durable. Next, another machine applies heat and pressure to combine the layers of coating. The final step is the design. It's made by an embossing machine, which makes the leather look and feel like animal skin. The leather is then sold to designers around the world to make purses, shoes, and more. 180 billion soda cans are thrown away annually. Bottle Top upcycles close to 1,500 pounds of this waste each year by turning the taps into designer handbags. To start, materials are purchased from waste pickers or retrieved directly from dump sites where they are sorted and sold. The tabs are then thoroughly washed in a machine and dried. Workers next separate the tabs by hand and paint them. The tops are then sewn together using a similar method to crochet weaving. This Bolani bag takes about eight hours to make and uses exactly 1,252 tabs. The bags come in a variety of sizes and cost between $50 and $918. The London Fire Brigade every year throws away up to four tons of old, damaged fire hoses no longer safe to use. Since 2005, Cressy Westling and her partner Elvis have collaborated with the London Fire Brigade to repurpose its old fire hoses into handcrafted luxury bags and accessories. They donate 50% of their profits back to charities. The fire hose material is a nitrile rubber, which is a synthetic, high-grade material designed to be heat and water resistant. Alvis and Cressy had to develop their own equipment and machines to process the hoses because manufacturers in the luxury accessory industry were unsure how to use it. They first clean the material, then decide what to create with it. After it's washed, the hose is cut and split further to make it ready for use in bags. Once that's done, there's 44 meters of material. Next, they cut the pattern pieces and sew it into the product they're making. They've rescued almost 200 tons of material from going to landfills, including fire hoses, coffee sacks, tea sacks, leather waste, and more. You can crochet sustainable accessories out of plastic bags by forming the bags into yarn-like strands. TikTok creator Grace Hsu has crocheted a bag, bucket hat, and vest, all from plastic bags. Hsu learned this method by following a tutorial from fellow TikToker Josh Hillary. To turn your plastic bags into plarn or plastic yarn, first, fold each bag into one long piece. Then, cut the bags into strips. Next, tie the strips together until you have enough to crochet with. Any color or patterns on the bags will create a unique pattern as you crochet. Since 2015, Adidas has been in partnership with the environmental organization Parley for the Oceans to turn marine pollution into sportswear. To start, the trash is collected from coastal areas. The waste is then sorted, and the recovered plastic is sent to an Adidas processing plant. Adidas uses plastic bottles that contain polyethylene triethylate, or PET, and any material it can't use, like caps and rings, is sent to normal recycling facilities. The processing plant crushes, washes, and dehydrates the waste, leaving nothing but small plastic flakes. The flakes are heated, dried, cooled, and cut into small resin pellets. Adidas melts these pellets to create a filament that is spun into what the company calls ocean plastic, a form of polyester yarn. Adidas uses ocean plastic to form the upper part of shoes and clothing like jerseys. Each item in its parlay collection is made up of at least 75% intercepted marine trash, and Adidas says the products meet the same performance and comfort standards as its other shoes. Adidas says more than 50% of its apparel uses recycled polyester. 
Recycled polyester uses less water and fewer chemicals and helps prevent plastic pollution. Adidas' goal is to replace all virgin polyester with recycled polyester by 2024. These bracelets help clean the ocean. The beads and strings are made from post-consumer recycled materials and every four ocean product comes with a one pound promise to pull one pound of trash from oceans, rivers, and coastlines. Four Ocean sells the bracelets and other goods made from recycled plastics such as water bottles and cell phone cases online and uses money to fund ocean and beach cleanups. The company has collected over 17 million pounds of garbage since 2017.